nervous. Hello. This is time to get started. I think I did everything. So if we switch over here. Cool. Then I just need to press the button. Come on, OBS. Come on. You could do it. You good, bruh? Hello? Why isn't my PNG tuber showing up? OBS. Oh man, I love, I love OBS. That one works, and that one works. Or, oh, my shortcut might not be working. Here you go, settings, hotkeys. okay so it's not an obs thing it's my drawing tablet thing um i have a button on my drawing tablet set to like automatically bring my png tuber out and in but i guess either the wacom app is broken or yeah, my Huey on tablet says it's not connected. That's my fault. <laughs> not OBS. There we go. Now we're fine. Oh my god. Hi, Snake. So, a couple years ago, we beat Sonic 1 100%, 120%. Um, we're going to do the same for Spyro 2, Ripto's Return. It, 
it might take like two streams, maybe three, to do this because I've just this is like my game, you know. Um. Yeah, this is the Spyro game I'm the most unfamiliar with. I mostly liked the first and the third game growing up. I do acknowledge that two is the best one, though. Let's mute that. Unmute you. Um, let me know how loud Spyro is, because, like, it's even extra for me right now. And I, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, ju I just unmuted it. I didn't mute it in OBS. I muted the actual window before launching because the music was too loud for me. Which, honestly... I think I meant to turn that down and then turn up the actual audio. How is the sound? Right here? This way I can hear everything at full volume and the game's actually at full volume. Awesome. Great. 10 out of 10. Maybe I should actually, like, mute. Or not unmute. Uh, pause that song that was playing in the background. Because I will be using that for the outro. We're gonna stop. I've forgotten what the sun looks like. We should go on vacation. Somewhere warm. Somewhere sunny. Dragon Shores, yeah! I haven't been there since we kicked Nasty Nork's butt. How about it, Sparks? You up for a vacation at the beach? Yeah. Last one there's a Nork! Yeah, I can't believe you would just call them that. I feel like after the first game's events, calling someone a Nork would be like a slur. Working, Professor? Almost. Just a few more adjustments to these orbs and maybe this isn't such a There's actually a good bit where I was debating if I just play this the original game. Calm down, Hunter. On retro work. Cause like the professor's book. Though this is the prettier version or whatever, like I I like the classic more. This game didn't kind of It was great. I loved it. I absolutely adored it when it came out, but it didn't replace the original as, like, a better version, you know? It's working! It's working! I've got the dragon! Huh? Nice callback, but I still Whoa, like the original more. Hi, which way's the beach? Hmm. Hey, stop staring! Haven't you guys ever seen a dragon before? You're a dragon? You got a problem with that pussy cat? Oh! Well, well, someone forgot to invite me to the party. Were you trying to keep something from me? A dragon? You brought a dragon to Avalar? I hate dragons. Yeah! Crush, kill it, kill it. I wasn't even clicked in the window and it skipped the cutscene. Oh well. Go to options. Yeah, we always play with the original soundtrack. Sorry, not sorry. Yeah. So last time I played this, I was on a computer that couldn't even run 60 FPS. So I wanna... I want the high frame race, even though I know it will make the game somewhat harder to play.
Yeah, one of the things they added in this game that I like over the- well, it was a feature that you could unlock in Spyro 3 in the original trilogy, but they allowed you to have this thing where whenever you press down one of the sticks, sparks will tell you where gems are that you haven't collected. Um, I feel like if I were to, like, Charlie, if we were to do a race of this game, it would- I feel like it would have to be this version, just so you wouldn't end up in instances where you don't know where the last gem is. Um, is the camera set to active? I don't feel very active to me. That's all of it in the first area. Yeah. And also, the original of this game would not be a great thing, especially since today I found out that, like, in the original, you could light these things up by, like, jumping into a fire, because in the original game I think your fire went up after it like reached a max area. Hi Snake! Oh no! Oh hi Blake! Oh I saw... Uh, names that rhyme and that are the same color. That is going to be the death of me, isn't it? Yo, leave this poor rat alone. We gem cutters are a bit too short to climb these ladders, and it looks like you are too. After you learn to climb, come back to Glimmer to see me. Ah, you must be the dragon uh, money bad. Talking about. Can I call you a slur? Thank you, Mister. I want to call money bags a slur. Lifting these nuts. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Should have been all the ones in there. Actually, no, there might be a few in there we can't get until we have the unlimited fly. Or not the unlimited flying. Until we learn how to climb. The unlimited flying, I think we might be able to do. I know that was a thing you could do in the original game. I don't remember what you had to do exactly, though. I think it was just... Pulled up a little bit near the end. Oh well. Yeah, I'm not sorry. <laughs> but I have to apologize because that's the nice thing to do. I don't expect you playing this game for long, so I was honestly debating if I should make, make a, a melon for this, or I should just slap on the dragon fruit mod that we had on last time we played. Because that was, that was like a pretty cute mod. But, like, they have other fruits, they just don't have a watermelon. I want a watermelon dragon. But I'm too lazy to, like, 
mod the game. Though honestly, if I did have the like the mental capacity for that, I feel like that's something I would totally do. These little lizards have eaten my entire crop of gems. Kill the rodents. Should have done the, the crystal lamps first. I realize it's like, well, there's nothing stopping me from starting one and then just going and like doing another halfway through it. I forgot this isn't a game like Mario 64 or whatever where like I can't just do everything all at once. Oop. I gotta relearn how to play the game. Which is weird. I literally said this is like my game. I don't know how to fucking play this shit. A fairy gave me this orb, but I like gems better. You take it instead. A part of me is like, is it too late to just go and start the actual original game? I don't... <laughs> it's not bad. This is just a good port, like a good remake. I just... For some reason I want to see the janky old models. <laughs> I'm just gonna get the infinite fly for that shit. I ain't gonna bother timing that. Oh, yeah, in the first area where that other white puzzle is, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, so we just can't. Oh, well. So I know we had the the dragon fruit mod on last time I played, but I also had a bunch of other mods on apparently. And a weird thing is like they're all named the same file for some reason. Like there's no like parenthesis one or two or whatever afterwards. It's just they're all literally the same file name. So there's no way to tell what or what. So I only deleted the one like I'm Spyro. What are you? The one dragon fruit thing. I feel like I might have had something to oh, fix Hunter's sorry. proportions and like how he looks, maybe? Because yeah. Hunter was one of my favorite characters, I did not they like how they made him look in this talisman. game. They gave you a talisman? What? Is it special? I just stuck it in the guidebook you gave me. Well, there are 14 talismans. Not that is like they are all magical. Not that this like the PlayStation original like the PS2's original look like, but well, that's just Hunter, where have you been? Oh, he just, just looks like Chester the Cheeto. Met Tony Hawk and had a baby. I am? He is. 
I think Spyro and Hero's Tale is my favorite version of Hunter. Right now. Ripto and his monsters have taken over the castle here in the Summer Forest. You're going to have to go to Avalar's world and convince the inhabitants to give you their talisman. You can keep them in your guidebook. Hey, I could do that. Why no, you could dragon just torch Ripto? Hunter, you can't even keep track of your running shoes. How can we Oh, uh, I think I just had a horrible idea talisman. for a birthday stream. <laughs> do like a sub up on or something. But I'll tell Try you to get the baby like okay, our followers no on, I guess. Try to reach like 200, 300 followers. But uh the promise would be if we reach it, I have to play Spyro into the Dragonfly. I don't know, actually, I feel like I'd have to save it for a 500, actually. Uh, End of the Dragonfly is... That, I'm, so, I'm subjecting myself for a lot for only three, like, an extra, like, 150. Hundred and thirty, maybe. That's a lot of torture. I'm. Hmm. Do you have followers or subscribers? Though so I need kind of the great amount of people to actually watch, huh? Oop. Oop. Uh, it's still kind of unbelievable that they made this for, like, uh, like, I know it's a real game and it's been out for a while, but it's weird when a game you really, really like as like, a kid gets remade with modern graphics. Hey, Spyro. Ripto smashed this bridge, so I guess you'll have to glide across it. Press the jump button, then press jump again while you're still in the air to glide. Like, it's usually the kind of feel I get for a, a Pokemon remake. Every time. It's just that weird kind of... Similar, but not feeling. You kind of get excited again for it or some shit. Sparks. Sparks! Boy! Surprised the rumble and everything is working on the controller, especially since I had to use DS4 to make this work with my PS5 controller. Yes, yes. He's my sp he's my health indicator, Zoe. I know. I think he wants like five hundred to teach me to swim, right? Four hundred. Yeah, five hundred. Or I have to do another world. Unless I was playing the original, where there is a glitch where I can just go underwater. You look like you're pretty agile. Let's try putting. Oh my god, bro! You know how to jump? You just played through a whole level, but you want to learn how to jump? Now to make this next jump, you'll have to glide. Press the jump button. Nice job. I mean, those teach you how to. So, so uh, there might actually be someone in the world who doesn't understand that. Press X twice to glide. Hovering will give you extra height. If they're playing this for their first time, you know. I mean, I don't know. I don't I don't think you could possibly. The first thing you should always be doing when you're playing a game is see if you have a double jump. If it's a game like this and you're not testing if there's a double jump, you're... You're really just... Really just... Turning your brain completely off, huh? You'll have to give this one everything you've got. Get a walking start, jump, glide, and hover just before you get to the edge of the platform. This one is a little tricky. Wow, you're a pretty good athlete. If I hadn't lost my running shoes, I'd take you on for real. 
For now, here's an orb for your Oh, I did mod him till he's like the original one. Yeah, this the this is how I liked Hunter looking. This. This is like my favorite look for Hunter that has ever existed. Damn, you want to ponder Hunter's orb? Damn, bitch. What's <laughs> 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 up, Pixel Mug? Glad to see you here. Damn, you really, you really desperate, bruh. <laughs> if you gotta, like, if you're that low where you have to do that, bro, I think you're doing something wrong. You need to reevaluate. <laughs> Tyro, the idols we were carving have come to life. They've locked us out of our temples and stolen our food. Um, we're gonna have to come back to this level uh, after we learn how to like go underwater because there is an underwater puzzle here to 100% it, and I think we have to wait until we go to a completely different home world at the beginning to uh, unlock the ability to climb ladders and come back and finish the first level. Which I'm glad they kind of had that. It made the game just a little bit longer in a good way. Kind of like how when you play a Zelda game and you'll go to a later dungeon and it's like actually relevant past the dungeon you got it in. Those metal shields are making enemies invulnerable to your flame attack. If you press and hold the charge button, officially barbecue lids. There we go. Bitch. Oh, I heard that ladybug. Where that? I just want to talk, bro. That works too. Hmm. I never noticed that he turns around and works on the the carving on the wall. I mean, they are, car they are called the stone drivers, so I don't know what I expected. To aim the camera left or right. Zoe? Again, if someone was playing the game for their first time, and they didn't learn that up to this point, they I feel like their parent would need to have some words with them. Talk about why they aren't paying attention in school. At what age did they decide to completely just shut their brain off? There was a thing for that. I think it only shows up after we beat the level. Sparrow, you're pretty tough. If you I, I adore Spyro. Spyro is probably my, like... It might be, like, the, either the all-time favorite game in my life, or... Pokemon might be. 
like I say that because as much as I love Spyro, it doesn't stay relevant for long. Like Spyro doesn't get things anymore. This game gave people, I feel like, a lot of false hope that there was going to be more Spyro releases, especially since um, Crash Bandicoot got, you know, Crash 4 not too long after its release, and Spyro still has got nothing, and everyone's still being like, yes, but that still means we're gonna get it, though. Yes, serve con. Look at that. The hula girl's ring dance flew up that This music always kind of reminded me of like Cow Courage to Cowardly Dog for some reason. I've dreamed of take this orb. It could help you. Like that specific music that was just playing when they were singing. Damn. I wish I had had a hair that grew that good. And damn. Bitch. Sparks? Sparks. I don't know why I'm bothering. I mean, I may as well collect all the stuff here, so that way... Next time I'm here, I just have to start the level and exit through the... The map and then we're done. Okay, I'll sing all the gems now below me. If I get really far away, hopefully by the exit there's not anything. Fuck the trees. God damn it. For some reason I thought I went over there. Well, our style in this kind of gives off the same vibe to me as uh, Ukulele. Which I wish that was the game I liked more. For some reason, one of the things in the game that just turned me off was when you'd have to 100% a level just to expand it and do another fit, like, 50% or some shit. That... Because I gave up at the casino map. Like, it already felt like a lot getting the first 50%, and as soon as it expanded, I, I was like, no. Absolutely not. I'm not doing this. This is too big. Because I collected everything when I did try, like, a few, like, weeks later and there was one like thing left but no matter where I looked in the world the indicator wouldn't go off and I just I just sat there in defeat If it wasn't such a brain fog kind of day, I would 100% have just kind of nailed that without a problem. Oh. 
see, he looks like something I'd see in Rick and Morty. Alright. Let's learn how to swim, BB. Talk to me. Talk to me, you dumb himbo bear. You greedy himbo bear. Hey, money bags. Wanna take a trip on a submarine? Spyro, would you like to learn to swim underwater? I suppose I could teach you. Great. Okay. Weird that the rich guy teaches me how to swim. Oh, I could have. Something up this control stick movement, but it's really hard for me to grasp. I've been locked in here with all our tools, and the giant idle heads won't let the workers in unless we can solve the three puzzles they've given us. The first puzzle is to turn all these blocks yellow. If you have, it was just. Wow, Spyro, you did it! I mean, uh, I know you could do it. Now, meet me at the pond for the next challenge. Hey, yo, what's this? The all oh, right. After we do them all, he's gonna bring us here. I forgore. This idol said. Yes, it was yellowfish. Or is it yellow and blue? Yeah, yellow and blue, but not red. Okay, Spyro, just one more puzzle to go. I'll meet you over by the colored stones for your final challenge. For some reason, my brain thought that all of the puzzles were jump puzzles, and I forgot that that side quest was part of the same line of side quests. The weird thing. You see that I'm just struggling with the control stick. It really does not feel like active camera mode is on unless I'm holding down the left trigger. Maybe I'll just have to hold down the left trigger the whole game. Tim, absolute audacity. If you jump on these stones in the correct order, you will solve the puzzle. I only know what the first one is. It's up to you to figure the rest out. For the first two. Let's... 
Oh. Wow, I am dumb. Wait, no, I'm not. I don't think so. I, I think it's honestly just mesh. He said I know the first two and then he didn't even give me the triangle. Levels complete. I think we could also just leave like this. No, we're not going to get our next ability until we learn how to climb from the, I think, goat people? The satyrs? And that's world two. I gotta give Spyro to something. That's the homeworlds feel like actual levels that you can explore. First one, we're kind of hit or miss. You're well on your way, Spyro. Keep collecting talismans to help us defeat Ripto before he can take over Avalar. Oh, and keep collecting those orbs, too. The professor thinks they will help you get back. Mm, Funny Beach, I'm pretty sure, is the speedway. And if I remember correctly, this might have started the trend where you have to do each speedway twice. One for the money and the second for time trials. Uh, okay. Oh no, okay. No, I think I remember where the time trial one is. Hi, Spyro. It's a good thing you're here. If you can help shepherd those baby turtles over there to safety, I'd be mighty grateful.
I, I don't, I don't think the turtles will die if I leave them alone and go back for a second to go back and get the gems I missed. I think at the end of the level I'm getting super breath or super charge. Are these babies farting? They are. I fucking hate that. God, not the fucking Chef Turtle mini game. That shit was so annoying originally. I think I need the ladder again for the rest of the level, but we leave. It's weird how a lot of the times you finish this, like, the world in this game, if the bad guys don't turn good, they get turned into slaves. A little weird. A little, little weird. I think these designs are supposed to be based off Ratchet and Clang. I remember something in like the designs are based off of them or they're heavily inspired off of. Like that's their enemy name or something. I know these are. I think breaking the 10 things, the windmills around the map, it's a skill point? I don't think skill points are mandatory for 100%. Guidebook might let us know? 
Mm. Okay, yeah, they are. I think at least. But I think in this level, it's... All windmills, yeah. Bitch, you're lucky I'm more interested in exploring than killing the enemies, because I know I gotta kill you at some point. I'm just leaving you alive for as long as possible. I got all these frickin' windmills again. And now you will rue it. You will rue the day, Harley Shay. camera angle it didn't even look like it was getting rid of a light bulb it looked like it was gonna be Zoe giving me another tip about something I should have already figured out in the game Damn. Thank you. Mm. It's like lap two of the map. Thank you, Spyro. You've deactivated all of the electric barriers. Uh, we've been guarding this talisman from the gear grinders. Please take it as a reward. You'll see. <laughs> okay. Um. 
paint now correctly. Yeah. Now we break the rest of the windmills. Thank you. Jesus. You have to go to every area now and break all the windmills to slow down the fans. I think I just came from the green. Yeah, I don't need anything from there. Oh wait, yeah I do. And we also need to break all of these. I know, right Snake? Like, damn. Takes so long just coming in here, being all cute and shit. Fuck. <laughs> there with that one. Oh, wait, I think I need to like go down and around to break that one. Yeah, I feel like there is a way I can just kind of like squeeze it in just so I can break it like super early, but. I don't have so much brain power. Oop. <laughs> also, wait. I feel like the timing for this is way different than the original. Also, could just be my. I'll be honest. PlayStation 5 control sticks, not great. PlayStation 1 had those real tight control sticks, you know? You like our tight sticks. I just use the D pad. There we go. Um, I think there's still two more we gotta Spiral. break. Do you see that big building over there? The gear grinders are using it to steal our electricity. Wait. It's like, sorry, dude. I just ah, oh, there's a shiny. You know, I had to. I had to get it. The reason we're actually going around and collecting gems isn't because, you know, Spire's a dragon and he wants his treasure. That's just a cover-up. It's really, we're collecting his crack rocks. This man has had a horrible drug addiction. From the ripe age of five. And he just needs that, that good shit. Shutting down the factory? Just ask me. The next slides get tricky. You'll have to use your hover maneuver. Remember. Oop. Fuck. That's the downside. If you fall, you have to do all this fucking shit again. Oh wait, no you don't. Boom. 
What's that? Tedium? No. We have checkpoints. And honestly, it's not that annoying to get back to do it. Ah, uh, no, that's just my bad. Can you tell I'm great at this game? I'm like amazing at this game, guys. Guys, I'm great at Sonic. Spyro. <laughs> Uh, I, I somehow ended up dripping into my Sonic fan impression. Supercharge. I had to get two windmills over here with the supercharge gun. Fucking damn it. Let's go clean up this mess because apparently I just forgot. Oop. I forgot where they were for a second. Bro, that you were even here. Yeah, so I was kind of thinking of... So I don't know if that, because we're done with Digimon, if that means we're done with the Gammon. Um, originally I was just using them to show off the chat pet that you could buy at the Kofi shop. Uh... Where I have that, and... My Splatoon 3 little guy chat pet, for those interested in it, you know, maybe they want a little chat pet of their own when they're playing Splatoon or just a little Digimon friend. Uh. No, Daddy Mon, don't delete me, I love you, sure. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, I don't know, I, it's like, we're not playing Digimon, so that's not relevant, but I do, I do like Gammon, so I, I kind of want to keep them. <laughs> uh, I'm, oh, it's, this last windmill is gonna, it's gonna make me be fucking great. Hmm. All the windmills are slowed down again, right? Thank God. All the small windmills are back. Or did I just somehow miss that one? Nope, there it is. God damn it. Oh. All the big ones are back too. You know what? We're just gonna try to get this one first then.
I mean, there's not a lot of good Digimon games to play. <laughs> Let's be honest. At least, none that are easily accessible. Please keep me, I promise I won't act crazy, crazy. I was crazy once. They locked me in a room, a rubber room, a rubber room with rats. And rats make me crazy, crazy. I was crazy once. They locked me in a room, a rubber room, a rubber room with rats. And rats make me crazy, crazy. I was. What was I saying? What the fuck was that, Charlie? What the fuck was that? I might even know we could make this thing talk. <laughs> yeah. Um Gamamon is a chat mat that I drew up and I have made available on Kofi if anyone else wants him. You can sit on the left or right side of your screen with accurate depiction of like his arm band and shit because he has a little red stripe on his other hand that, you know, I needed to make right. Um, and I believe I linked it to a tutorial that will show you how to set it up with really the only thing you ever need to be a... Uh, need to install would be a uh, plugin for OBS. I like I don't think it wants me to like go up there and jump over, but I it could. <laughs> I think everyone just kind of grew attached to Gamamon. I, I think that's what happened. I'm honestly tempted to just Google the windmill because I honestly don't remember how to get this. That this okay. So for a while, Charlie and I have been talking about how we want to do a race of Spyro, but I realized that you know. If we were going to race Spyro, to make it fair, it would have to be Spyro 2. Because this is one Charlie's never played, and it's the one I've played the absolute least. I I just never really liked it growing up for some reason, even though it is the better one of the like three games. But because I struggle like this, and I know Charlie would too, I think it would be... I don't need... That's a small windmill. I'm a fucking idiot. That's that's what would make this fair. Also, did Gamemon, did Gamemon read that? I didn't. I didn't. I don't know if I wasn't listening or man, just straight up just didn't didn't deliver. Hold up. I don't. Does someone already refend you your text to speech points? But if I complete them all, will you say all of them? I hope not. I just realized I don't have a way to make them stop, but. Here. He 
You can't ignore me. I am his master. Don't say, please. Ah. Thank you, man. Play it. What is a man? A miserable pile of secrets. But enough talk. Have at you. There you go. Oh yeah. I mean, I have kind of wanted to stream Symphony of the Night. That could be our next game. Oh my god. Shh, Jeremy, no. No, no. Snake. You are very good looking. Hush. Both of you are extremely hot. Stop fighting. <laughs> You're both great himbos. <laughs> Just leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> they can set tapes monster. Oh, <laughs> uh, I love I love cassette beasts. Cassette beasts are amazing. Get them on the Digimon. Digimon is the main Digimon from Digimon Ghost Game, the latest Digimon series, and he is my absolute favorite baby boy starting Digimon. I don't think I've been attached more to a Digimon than I have been before. You really couldn't just do that? Shutting down the factory. Here, I found this stuck between the gears. You can have it if you want. Oh yeah, Gamamon goes through emo phases in the anime. And he uh he just straight up smirks people. There was another part of the stage. I swear. I have to go and like return the light bulbs to specific machines or some shit. Or is that a different level? Remember to pre Okay. I thought I I didn't actually explore this part of the level when I got here. I completely like overlooked that.
I forgot where to put. Oh, here. Missing one that I think should be down here. Yeah, yeah, my mom actually just has a problem with reading text sometimes. It happens a lot more often than I'd like. I did it. But I did it though. Or not. I'm just your problem and you're stuck with me. Oh, my microphone was blocking the counter that was showing me how many of them I've killed. Damn, I really have to puts them all back every time. Fractionality that oh well, they're still down there. Well, I feel like halfway through putting these down, maybe they show up. And like if we go down here, yeah. Or maybe, yeah, okay. Okay, so I was just doing that wrong. That's my bad. Thanks for getting rid of the Like I said, this is the one I hello? Thanks for getting Oh, okay. Hi, Red Bear. Um, apparently, really fast. 
I thought that I needed to complete a side, do it, and then, you know, go back and forth and kill, while killing, like, one-on-one, -on -one, but... I didn't realize that as long as there was one thing left on the pedestal, they'd respawn. Thank you, Spyro! And 100% complete? Nice. So exit level. And I'm gonna be right back. I need to go refill my water real quick. Thanks for keeping company, Sparks. <laughs> Do you have anything to say? Are you enjoying the active camera mode? Okay. Oh yeah, baby. you're carrying have activated the special portal you won't find a talisman in ocean speedway but if you're fast you'll get lots of treasure have fun we'll wait on that Say, Spyro, you see this wall here? I bet you're dying to know what's on the other side. If only I had a few more gems, I might be able to remember how to lower the wall. Eat oh, my ass, man. Yes. The sparkling Eat my whole ass. Gems seems to have jogged my memory. How many worlds were on this level? We didn't do anything on Sunny Beach, so we have to go back there at some point. They all might involve the ladder, though. Mm. Um, I actually want to do the speedway first. <laughs> I'm eating those graham crackers, not graham crackers, granola bars that are dipped in chocolate. <laughs> Hi, Spyro. 
This talisman door will only open if you have all... Yeah. I think granola bars are one. Right. Another ladder. Cool. Damn. Thought we really had at the time. God, this is so sloppy. Yeah, these flying challenges absolutely fucking sucked. But now that we did that, we try. But. I guess now you think you're pretty good. Well, let's see if you're as good as the current champion. You speak mad smack for <laughs> you speak mad smack for a bitch with an overbite. All right, Spyro, meet the course champion. In order to win the race, you must fly through all the rings. But beware! If Hunter flies through a ring first, the ring will start to shrink.
can't remember. I think I actually have to like come before him though. Which. Oh, by cutting corners, I guess. But I need to know where I'm going first. I don't know which corners I'm cutting. Alright, Spyro. Meet the course champion. In order to win the race, you must fly through. Oh, do I just have to get all of them? Bullshit. <laughs> Race me yourself. Let's see how fast you can fly. Seeing how we're always seem to be flying at the same speed, seems like you gave him a little bit of a head start. I don't think that's a little fair, lady. Let me burn you alive, Hunter. Let me win. I got that. Oof. a little bit. I don't understand why people have an issue with the trolley. This is act the actual like hard mode. I think what we're gonna do is for stream. Let's just do at one of every home world for a stream. That way we have like I think there's only four or five home worlds. So that gives me like a week and a half, through, or no, like two and a half weeks of uh, streams. That should be enough time for me to find the next like major game that we're gonna play. Damn it! It's not as easy as you thought, is it? Are you ready to try? All right, Spyro, meet the. He sounds like she's voiced from Leela, or from the voice actor that did Leela in Futurama. There we go. Um... Fuck, I don't... Fuck. <laughs> That's my fault. No. God damn it. No, it's not because I don't know the course yet. Honestly, I should just let him win one normally while I'm right behind him, so that way I know where the fuck I'm going. I think that's why in Spyro 3, when they do shit like this, 
um, between each ring, there's little blue dots that are showing you like which direction the trail is going. hoop and I didn't touch it. I did it again, like I went ahead before I knew what the- well, I didn't see any other rings. Yeah, now it's Superman 64, right? This is the fun Spyro game. The best one, right? Though, I can't say shit because 3 also had it so you had to do this shit too. I think those sometimes had like three missions on them. One where it's like the normal gathering things, and then one. Actually, no, it might have just been. It was two missions, but then there's a secret egg, I think, in each level or some shit. We burn you alive. to do this as well. Like, this is an optional thing. I mean, it's not. I need this for one of the crystals. It's like, just, if I don't do it now, like, there's no repercussions. I could just come back at the end of the game and do them all. Let me die. Yeah, stuff like this, Charlie, is why a race would be fair. This this is the fair part of the race. We'd both be sitting here doing this shit for hours. I think that's why I wanted one. Because one, you just do the first thing, and that's the only speedway you have to do.
What? What? Is it? What's <laughs> All right, fine. I'll let Hunter just completely just keep leading until we're in the hallway. Yeah, have I been, like, fucking up that one ring this entire time? Or something? I turn around and he didn't go through a ring. Hmm. Will always be going a little bit over stream because these levels are. Maybe this one is just as simple as in Spyro 1, just doing a lap and getting all the things before the timer goes out. Never to do no time trials or anything. Back in my day. I, I don't know where he's going then. That's the only thing I could think of. He must be going somewhere completely different. Why is there no indicator on which hole is the next one? follow you exactly. I I will get mad if all we had to do was follow him exactly without actually having to, to win. Oh, fuck. I mean, ah, uh, I'm a an idiot. Okay, where you go? I thought. Okay, yeah, I see where I was been fucking up. Okay.
Put. How the fuck are you supposed to know this if you're just- Okay, so it, it can't just be... Beat him, because how the fuck would you ever know this? I think I've just been... An idiot. Yes, I've just been an idiot trying to speedrun it. <laughs> And I think... Oh, thank god. Get, us, get me out of here. My own stupidity kept us there. And there was no one to blame but myself. I... I was... Listen. Like I said, I'm having a brain fog this day. Works, Spyro. The orbs you're carrying have activated the... I just came from there. What the fuck are you talking about? Wow. I'm glad they say that I am a himbo, if that means that I don't get blamed for what happened. <laughs> okay, so I think this is the last one before fighting the next boss. You just watched this earlier. We're good. We're good. The funny looking guys with the shock sticks have drained all our water. We can't get it back unless someone activates the switches they're guarding. This is the large level I just remembered. There was a few things that I had I think I have to remember if I'm gonna complete this level. I can go through here until I have a submarine.
get it. That's definitely for the mini game later. Until the supercharge is unlocked. Oh, they got money bags. Oh, eat shit and die. Hi, Spyro. You must that be reminds me. Than you look to get here. All the same, you won't be able to get past the metal sharks up ahead. I suppose I could let you borrow my submarine, though, for a modest fee, of course. There we go. Up. Oh my god! We're in a submarine. And history repeats itself again. Except it doesn't, because we just <laughs> did. This is the Spyro game I've played the least. But also, the oh my god, the submarine isn't surprised that I got to ride the submarine. It's, I forgot this game had a submarine in just, you know, recent events. Oh, I didn't control that submarine. The submarine... The submarine 100% was autopiloted. Okay, yeah, I just can't. <laughs> and I'm, I'm playing with the PS5 controller. It is way more superior than a 2005 Logitech P, uh, Xbox 360 controller. Though the game still think, thinks I'm playing with the PS4 controller, which is still technically more superior than the Xbox 360 Logitech 2005 controller. Our world is wet again! We all want you to have this talisman of Aquaria Towers to remember us by. Right? It's like, you're gonna go cheap, go Mad Cats at least. Okay, so now we have Super Flame. I don't think it's infinite time though, no. So we need to go around. And was it not break all those doors? I guess we're gonna go kill the sharks first. You might have fucked got like felt like how that completely fucked because of how slow you were. I don't think there's any more chests like that. I mean if there are, of course we'll come back for it, but I think now it's time to supercharge. Oh my god, Snake. Hmm. 
Müll da. Yeah. I feel like I should have been able to open these. There. Oh. I think. Up here, actually. I feel like I shouldn't be picking those up. I feel like those are outlining the path of a racetrack or something, and I just collected all of it. Another silver underground. Uh, this is from, uh, for some reason. Thing was. I'm sure we got everything up here. I guess we'll find out later. The water workers have kidnapped six of my children and have hidden them in the top of each of these numbered towers. I borrowed some explosives to blast open the tower doors. If you can make it to oh. the top of the six numbered towers. God damn it. I wish I knew that. He was just gonna unlock them. Hello? Hi, it's me. I'm the problem, it's me. Fuck, I wasn't paying attention to where Tower 2 was. Oh! Hooray, iframes. Ooh. That's what good mac and cheese sounds like. There's no need for that. Monsters aren't a like killing monsters isn't part of hundred percent com completion in this anymore. Since they don't drop gems, but I just want to murder, you know. Also, that reminds me, what's the skill point for this? All seaweed. 
Oh, I'm supposed to burn all the CD with the uh, super flame. Right? that oh I think I modded how the fire breath power up looks too where's number five Oh, I think this is a seaweed we gotta burn. I feel like I already messed up. Nope, okay, so I do have to go all the way over here and then back. Did I go backwards? I think I did. Oh, I'm really fucked up, huh? There's no reason I should have struggled that much with it. I just give me the iframes. You did it. Okay. Um. I think the next thing is a manta ray race. What is Sworn Hunter supposed to be around here? There he is. I've been trying to tame my new pet manta ray, but he just won't obey me. Hey, you're just about the right. Great! Hop on his back and guide him through each of the bubble rings as they appear. And remember. Hey, now do you want to race me and my manta ray? Now that the manta ray's tamed, I'd love to get him into race. Okay. Wow, my microphone's blocking half like where if the bubble like where the bubbles are appearing, so I'm like not seeing them. I can't even see how many we've done because it's just blocked. Incredible! You've got real talent. I could use a partner like you. You can have the orb I found in my other flipper too. There we go. Let me just move this in front of OBS so that way I can't look at my volume. 
I don't need to adjust my volume as much as I look at the game. Alright. And then I think all we're missing is some gems. They're under water somewhere. We're in the storm. Right. Fucking, that's what I forgot about. Um, down here. What is this? This, like, I love this cell shaded, like, Chromatic, like, look, just like Super Fire has. There we go. I think that's all we can complete on World 1. Sunny Beach, we need the ladder. Heracos, done. Um, Glimmer needs a ladder, and Summer Forest needs a ladder. So, yeah, we're done here. So I think it's time for a boss and then end of the game? Or not end of the game. End of stream. <laughs> Fucked up thing is, those are robot sharks. Well, I mean, I guess Ripto's putting them there. I was gonna say, but so that means, like, because they're robots, someone's putting them there. But yeah, Ripto is. He, he's trying to murder them. That's the point. Hi, Spyro. This talisman door will only. One, two, three. Oh, wait. Hey. Where's the one I'm missing? Oh, I think it was... I didn't do Horokos. No, no, I did Horokos. Wait, where am I missing? Oh, I completely forgot about this level. Oop. Oop. Dude's fucking dead. He's fucking gone. A yeti has been rampaging around our home, but we've managed to trap him by shutting all the doors. If you talk to the other brothers, they will open...
I'm so glad they allowed an option to have the original soundtrack while you're playing this game. By concentrating, I, should be able I wish to Crash Bandicoot and Saint Trilogy let you do that. Oh fuck, I hate- I, I just remember there's gonna be a thing where these statues get turned completely black later and I need to like go and light them all on fire to clean them and I always forget where one of them is and I hate it. Who needs a key when you know how to chant like this? Damn, maybe can you open butts like that? Charged. Yeah, I think I figured that out, Zoe. Like a little bit ago. Each time you defeat I know. Me and all my himbo friends share a brain cell. It is a very commonly known fact. Hey. Wow. A little vain, isn't it? The idol of your world is just a golden statue of yourself, guy? That's, uh, pretty bold. have to get to kind of like the top of the level to speak to the professor. Yeah. Thank goodness you scared that evil spirit away. But now well, the ten statues. I land or I don't think I think there's a firework thing, but I wonder if I could just Yeah, nah. It'd be cool if that would like smash it open. Oh, 
I don't think there was any. Was there? Oh. Yeah, this is where I always get stuck. There might be some behind the main level. Maybe that's why I always forget. Well, I guess that's an area too. Guess the last two are behind level. Yes. I think that's why I always struggle with this level, because I keep forgetting that, you know, there's more back here than just hockey. I'm still missing one. Yeah, sure, I'll do this, but I, I'm still missing a statue. So I think it's the first we play at hockey. And then we have to defend a ballet dancer from hockey bullies. No! Oh wait, yeah, he can't get a goal on me. I think I'm just trying to get five, right? I think this is just normal hockey. We're not on air. I feel like in the original you were allowed to charge on the ice. had two two gems over his head. Ready? Are you not gonna talk to me anymore? 
The first to score five goals wins. You Okay, now it's Okay. I It is an actual game now. Eat a dick. You batch. Yeah, M Mr. Mr. Jake, the the polar bear. He got my back. He got my back. Eat shit. You're gonna be violent? I'll be fucking violent, my guy. Oop, nope. Not like that. That's toxic, not violent. bullying him now. He's got a concussion. Yo, me and my goalie are in sync. We've got this. Bro, I saw you pass that straight through him. Don't you try to pull this shit off now. I knew you were paid on the table, you know. Make sure the game is a little interesting. We ain't here for interesting, we're here to win. I paid a lot of money this game. Have this. If you stare at it long enough, you Alright, then I think the The mini game where you have to defend the ballerina might be Spyro 3. Well. I found that completely on accident. I didn't even know it was there. Now we're done. You know what? Since we're right here, let's go through the end portal. Alright, oh, this cutscene? I forget, did they censor this? Nah, he's just dead. Was it, I, I think someone said that it, they actually censored that scene. Maybe it was only in like the European version or something. Now we can go fight Ripto. Or not Ripto. I think it's... His little... His big green friend, maybe? Gulp. Gulp, 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 gulp. Hello? Wow. 
Well done, Spyro. Now that you have six talismans, this door will open. And we fall into the poop hole. Before you get to the castle dungeon, Spyro, I thought that you might want to know how Ripto and his monsters arrived in Avalar. No. You see, last week in the Winter Tundra, the professor was working on some new super portal technology. I said no. There, that's the last orb in place. Now let's see. All we need are some coordinates. Yeah? How about 22475? <laughs> that's my birthday. No, Hunter, don't! What? Bro just got his suck eyed. Mm, no dragons. Wonderful. Crush, go back and pack my bags. We're moving in. Say hello to your new king. Professor, shut it down. Hurry. Oh my, oh my. I can't see the switch. I think I've broken my glasses. Crush! Go through the portal, you idiot! Tell all your friends to take the orbs and scatter them throughout Avalar. Quickly! Now! Go! Crush! Get the Wouldn't it have been smart to wait until after I leave Skulk or Crush just went through first, so that way you only have one big dinosaur monster to worry about? This is bad news for Avalar. Hunter, why didn't you chase him? Uh, yeah. I, uh, would have gone after him, but didn't you say something about not liking dragons? Professor, could we catch a dragon to help us? Yes, yes, I think so. We'll need a world that has an alignment much better suited to intercepting one of these creatures. How about Glimmer? It's weird that his weapon is a a chicken leg with a tooth going through it. It sounds like Legos falling. Get fucked. GG easy. Now crush. You may have 
been able to defeat that simpleton, but golf will be more than a match for you. Bring it on, shorty. Go, come here now. Destroy him and make sure it's painful. Idiocy. What? Go, get me out of here. It's a long dragon. What a wuss. That looks like a loading screen for goosebumps. Boop, 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 boop. Oh. <clears throat> that Ripto has caused enough damage. All his meddling has cost me a fortune. If it wasn't for Spyro, I'd be bankrupt. Oh. If Ripto were here, I'd give him a piece of my mind. In fact, I'd give him a lot more than that. I was a champion bantamweight boxer at university, and I still know a few moves. Take that! And that! No! <laughs> Why, you... You... Just talk to money bags. Yeah, common rich person owl. <laughs> but um we're gonna end the stream there. Uh I think after this is another two, maybe three worlds. I think I in this game there's a world for each season. I don't remember if there's a world after like the four seasons. But uh thanks everyone who dropped in. Who is streaming right now? Let's go with... Let's go with Puzzled Monkey Tree. All right, usual raid message, you know, Melon Raid rolling through. Our emotes in there. Um, we'll be continuing this again on Tuesday, of course, and... I hope everyone has a good rest of their weekend. And until next time, bye-bye.